10 statues sit outside Bush Stadium. All Hall of Famers, but only eight are Cardinals. One is of Brown's great George Sisler, the other of a Negro League's legend who never played Major League Baseball. His name is James Thomas Cool Papa Bell. This is the home of baseball in St. Louis. And if it's truly the home of baseball in St. Louis, then it must honor the greatest players that have played here in not just our franchise's history, but our city's history. Bell moved to St. Louis as a teenager and began his pro career at 19. He debuted with the Negro League St. Louis Stars as a left-handed pitcher in 1922, but he didn't remain a pitcher for long. Once these teams figured out, not only was he a pretty good pitcher, but he had such blazing speed that his real strength would be in the outfield, and he became a Hall of Fame center fielder because of the speed on the base paths and his speed in the outfield tracking down balls. While the outfield became his home, that famous nickname came from the mound. Early on in his career, he struck out fellow Hall of Famer Oscar Charleston. He looked so calm doing it, teammates began calling him cool. He added the Papa because he thought it sounded better. After a 25-year playing career, Bell came home to St. Louis for the rest of his life. He eventually did make it to the big leagues as a scout for the St. Louis Browns. And the Negro League Committee put him in the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1974. He never played a single out of Major League Baseball, but he'll forever have a spot in St. Louis's all-time lineup. For Cardinals Insider, I'm Brett McMillan.